Did you know in a typical British home, up to one third of heat produced by central heating systems is lost through the roof, walls, floors and windows? For a poorly insulated property, this means that one pound out of every three pounds spent on energy is wasted. As the world continues to feel the impact of the energy crisis, the need to identify heat loss from our homes and save energy has never been more important. Minimising energy use in buildings and improving thermal performance are vital steps to take to increase the sustainability and energy efficiency, both financially and for our planet. A thermal imaging camera is a valuable tool that can provide a rarely seen insight into temperature variations of different surfaces. As part of their Save Your Energy Bills campaign, Hick Micro have kindly sent me this Pocket 2 thermal camera to check out around my home, which is very cool. More on the specs of this awesome little thing later. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Pocket 2 to identify some key areas of heat loss in your home. So, starting with our loft insulation. A badly insulated home can lose a quarter of its heat through its roof. Our house is around 20 years old and benefits from loft insulation, which is around 200mm in thickness, as can be seen here on our Energy Performance Certificate, or EPC, when we bought the house. The UK government currently recommends a minimum insulation thickness of 270mm, or 350mm if you're in Scotland. For those of you who haven't used a thermal camera before, it's important to make sure that you choose the right time to use it. So ideally when it's cold outside and you have the heating on, so around November till the end of March here in the UK. There needs to be around 10 degrees of difference in temperature between the cold and warm area for the camera to show heat loss effectively. The outside temperature according to my phone is around 8 degrees and the inside temperature is 23 degrees upstairs. By the way, I don't usually heat rooms to 23 degrees, but have done so for the purposes of ensuring the difference in temperature and obtaining some good thermal images. Let's see what Hidden Truths of Pocket 2 reveals. On the Pocket 2's colour thermographic display and its iron bow palette, warmer components or regions will show up as reds, oranges and yellows, while cooler parts will typically be shown as purples and blues. Green usually indicates that areas are roughly at room temperature as demonstrated by my cheeky kids. Ok, using the Pocket 2, let's see how our loft insulation is doing at keeping the heat in our living space. You can see in these bedrooms there is a consistent pattern of infiltration at the edges of the ceiling from the external walls and therefore heat loss. This is most likely come from cold air moving through the soffit ventilation into the loft space, but this is important to avoid condensation and mould buildup, and therefore I suspect this area of heat loss may be unavoidable. The Pocket 2 has also identified other cold surface areas in the main ceiling area itself. This linear, blue and colder area seen here represents a joist creating a thermal bridge where heat is allowed to escape through the joist creating a bridge between the warm ceiling and cold roof space. The thermal camera also picked up a similar issue in our bathroom and explains why we sometimes in the winter get condensation forming in this one particular place when warm, humid air comes into contact with this thermal bridge. In another room, there are a few cold spots in the ceiling where the loft insulation appears to be lacking. Again, moving into the loft, you can see where the insulation in that area has been disturbed and not replaced properly. You can see that whilst it may seem that we have a lot of insulation, the Pocket 2 identifies clearly that there are areas where heat is escaping, in particular through the gaps via the exposed joists. Better, well-installed insulation in your loft saves you money. And with Cornwall Insight forecasting rates of around 12p per kilowatt hour come April 2023, the payback time on both investing in a thermal camera to identify areas of heat loss and installing insulation itself will certainly be quicker than before. They do forecast that energy prices should improve later in the year, although it doesn't look like rates will return to 2020 levels for some time, if ever. Even with the law of diminishing returns, it's absolutely worth considering the state and thickness of your current loft insulation. What's more, improving the energy efficiency rating of your home can add value to your property. I'm definitely going to be adding more insulation, likely another 170mm thickness at 90 degrees to the existing insulation to plug some of those gaps, and cover those ceiling joists with better and more consistent insulation. I'll let you know how I get on, and if you want to be notified when that video lands, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Sticking with the ceiling, another common place where heat loss occurs is a poorly or non-insulated loft hatch. This was an area I'd already done, so I don't have any before images, but ours was sparsely insulated. I added some insulation roll on the back of the loft hatch, and then covered this loosely with some leftover radiator insulation. 
I also added some draft excluding adhesive seals around the loft hatch frame. You can see here the Pocket 2 thermal images for when the loft hatch is removed and when it is in place. The image on the right shows how well the insulated loft hatch is doing at keeping the cold on the other side. Although you can also see some colder areas here which corresponds to these uninsulated pieces of wood around the loft hatch creating a thermal bridge. Hick Micro is a leading provider of thermal imaging equipment and solutions. The Pocket 2 thermal camera is easy to hold, use and as the name suggests fits perfectly into your pocket. It's an infrared imager with a resolution of 49,152 pixels, 8 megapixel optical lens, minus 20 to plus 400 degrees Celsius temperature range, which can be changed to Fahrenheit, and a 3.5 inch LCD touchscreen. A 25Hz frame rate delivers smooth thermal imaging, while Wi-Fi connectivity allows images to be shared in real time to a smartphone or tablet, with the Hick Micro Viewer app installed. Via this app, you can also analyze images and generate reports. If you want to get a clearer insight into heat loss in your home, give the Pocket 2 thermal camera a try and I've added a link to it in the video description box below. Thanks to Hick Micro and to all of you for supporting the channel. Installing a smart thermostat with smart thermostatic radiator valves has allowed us to control each room in our house individually on a schedule. It has also provided some insight into the fluctuating temperatures in each room. In particular, we've noticed our living room temperature slumps compared to other rooms in the house when not in use, as can be seen here. Exploring our living room with the Pocket 2, I came across these blue coal patches across all of the external walls, of which there are three for this room. From what I understand, this is due to a technique called dot and dab, which replaced traditional wet plastering. It involved attaching plasterboard to a wall using dots and dabs of adhesive at various points across the wall surface. And as you've guessed, it is like the joists in our ceiling that act as a thermal bridge and result in heat loss. This is one to run past the professionals and I'll let you know how I get on. In the meantime, the Pocket 2 shows the difference in the cold living room in contrast to the rest of the warm house when the door is open, compared to when the door is closed. It is therefore important to keep the doors closed on unused and unheated rooms and will cost you nothing to do. You can still see some of the cold air near the door frame which is expected and minimal. However, there appears to be significantly more at the bottom of the door. The Pocket 2 shows how adding a relatively inexpensive draft excluder to block this gap reduces the warm air escaping. The Hick Micro Pocket 2 thermal camera is the complete solution for identifying heat loss and other building inspections and has helped me to identify areas in my house that I need to address. If you found this video useful and think I've earned it, then please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up with new content I'll be uploading, including getting our loft insulation topped up. Let me know in the comments section below if you've used the thermal camera and found similar problems and how you've addressed them. I'd love to hear your insights and thoughts too. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video and you're curious to check out the specs and price of our solar and battery insulation, then I think you'll find this video useful and I'll see you there.